Hey, what's going on people? Hope you guys are doing good. Today, we're talking Galaxy Book Pro 360. I'm gonna give you 10 tips and tricks on how you can get the most out of this amazing laptop. This thing has taken me by surprise because I was able to squeeze a lot of power out of this laptop despite it being so thin and lightweight. And this is all due to the Intel Evo processor. And this video is sponsored by Intel so that way I can give you a little bit more information about Evo and all of the standards that have to be passed in order to achieve the Intel Evo mark. So let's go ahead and dive into tip number one, which is all about 5G and Wi-Fi 6. One of the cool things about the Galaxy Book Pro 360 is it's one of the first laptops to feature a 5G modem, and this is due to the Intel Evo processor and of course, the power of Intel. And one thing I wanna show you is if you go into your settings and then go under Samsung settings, go under connections, you have an option for best Wi-Fi. And if you turn this on, your computer will automatically recommend the best available Wi-Fi network based on the signal quality and how much interference there is. So if there's less interference and a higher quality signal, it's gonna automatically choose that network and this is a great setting to take advantage of, especially with that Wi-Fi 6 modem on board. Like I said in the beginning, Intel has a set of standards that have to be passed in order to achieve that Evo marking or branding on a laptop. And one of these standards is Thunderbolt 4 or USB 4. And thankfully, the Galaxy Book Pro 360 has a Thunderbolt 4 port, so you're gonna get 40 gigabytes per second transfer speeds, and you can also hook up an eGPU to this and really get your gaming on, especially if you combine it with an external monitor, which is great. Another really nice thing about the Intel Evo platform, especially with this Galaxy Book Pro 360, is how fast it can go from sleep to wake. So if I open up the computer here, you can see it turns on instantly. It's like a one second boot up time, but we can take that one step further. So let's go ahead and dive into the Samsung settings and then go under battery and performance, scroll down and you have an option for auto booting. And this is going to make sure the system starts automatically whenever the lid is open while the system is hibernating or shut down. So even if the system is shut down and you turn it on, it's automatically going to boot on which speeds up the entire process, which is nice. So let's talk battery for a minute. Due to that Intel Evo processor, it's very efficient. However, with the Galaxy Book Pro 360, you can get up to 21 hours of battery life, and that is incredible. To really extend your battery life, you can go into the Samsung settings here, and you can see you have different performance modes. You have high performance, optimized, silent, and then no fan at all. If you put on no fan, it's going to really dial back on the performance. So think about using this for web browsing and things like that. Anything that involves a lot of processor performance, you're not gonna wanna use this option. But if you're just browsing the web, checking emails and things like that, having the no fan option is really going to push that battery life to get you that 21 hours of use. And that's pretty incredible. So while we're inside of the Samsung settings, let me show you a few more tips. If we go under battery and performance, at the very top, we have the option to protect the battery. And this is going to extend the lifespan of the internal battery of this laptop and limit the maximum charge to 85%. So instead of charging all the way to 100%, it's gonna give you 85%. So yeah, it's gonna affect battery life ultimately, but it's going to extend the life of the battery so you don't have to get it replaced or anything like that. And that's a really cool feature. And right below protect battery, we have USB charging. And this is going to allow the computer to charge using the two USB-C ports on the left-hand side, instead of just the Thunderbolt 4 or USB-C 4 port on the right-hand side. It gives you a little bit more versatility and then it frees up your Thunderbolt 4 port and you can use even a battery bank to charge your laptop whenever you're not using it and it's inside of your bag. Again, another really cool feature that I highly suggest that you enable. Another thing to consider is that the Galaxy Book Pro uses an AMOLED display. This means the darker areas or the black areas on the display are actually pixels not being used. So no power is going to those pixels. If you use a black or darker wallpaper, it's gonna help you conserve a little bit of battery. And if you enable dark mode inside of Windows, it can really extend your battery. If you're a Galaxy Note user, you're going to love the Galaxy Book Pro 360. It has full S Pen support, just like you would get on a Note device. Let me show you. So of course, this is all possible due to the touchscreen on the Galaxy Book Pro 360, which is a really good touchscreen, by the way. 
So we're gonna take the laptop, fold it back into its convertible type view. And then I'm just gonna take the S Pen here, hit the S Pen button and pull up the air command menu. And then from here, I can do smart select. In other words, I can select a portion of the display and it's gonna take a screenshot of that portion. I can write on the screen and then also combine that with smart select. I can create a live message, there's pin up, but most importantly, I can just create a note. So you can see how well the latency is with this S Pen on this display. I mean, that looks really, really good. And when you combine that with something like pin up, you can create artwork, you can color, you can doodle, you can do a ton of stuff right here on your laptop using the S Pen. And to me, it's pretty useful, it's fun, it's practical. This is a powerful tool, it's incredibly useful, and just look at it, it's a lot of fun. If you plan on using this S Pen and taking it with you wherever you go, you can store it just by snapping it on the back of the laptop, just like so, because it's done through a magnetic connection, which is really nice. Another thing I wanna talk about is the photo and video editing performance, thanks to the Evo processor. Video editing is actually really good despite this computer being so small and compact. You can't get away with extensive 4K timelines in Adobe Premiere, but you could definitely do small 4K timelines and 1080p is no problem for this laptop. When it comes to photo editing, it's actually really nice thanks to the pen because you can do fine tune edits inside of Lightroom and Photoshop. So photo and video editing is definitely nice on the Galaxy Book Pro 360. And if you wanna take it one step further, you can go in and adjust your color profile for your screen to give you a more accurate representation of what your colors are going to look like whenever you export that photo or video. Let me show you how to do that. You're gonna dive into the settings. You're gonna go under Samsung settings. Then you're gonna go under display. And right here under screen mode, you have multiple modes to choose from. Now by default, the AMOLED native or vivid mode is selected and it gives you a lot of punchy colors. As you can see, things become very vibrant. It looks really nice, but it's just not accurate. If you want the most accurate look, go to natural or sRGB mode. You can see things become a little bit flatter, but it's actually really accurate and it's gonna give you a great representation of what your photos or videos are going to look like on other displays. Photo editing is also really accurate, but you can see the saturation is a bit high. It's too high for my liking. I prefer sRGB. And the last one is Movie DCI P3. Again, really accurate and great for watching content. One thing I love about the Galaxy Book Pro 360 is the convertible design. Outside of it being extremely useful for S Pen use, it's also great for content consumption because you could put it in this position here while watching content. You can also put it in like a TP position to take up less space on a desk like so. Also, if you're into gaming, you can put it in this position right here to get better airflow because now the vents are coming up instead of being on the bottom. So you're getting much better airflow, especially if this is on your lap. I do this a lot at night before bed. So I might be sitting in bed, I'll have the Galaxy Book Pro 360 in this position and I can get my game on and I can have it going at maximum performance or high performance mode and it does not interfere with air intake or airflow whatsoever. The next thing I wanna talk about is how well the Galaxy Book Pro 360 pairs with other Samsung products. And this should come at no surprise because this is a Samsung laptop. Samsung has been really building their ecosystem out and they've done a fantastic job with integrating this laptop into their other products. If you want to see a video on how Samsung's ecosystem compares to other ecosystems on the market, stay tuned because I have that video coming up very soon and you're not going to want to miss it. So the Galaxy Book Pro 360 has something called Bluetooth Instant Sync. Let me show you. You're going to go into your settings, go under Samsung settings, and under connections, we have easy Bluetooth connection and it's automatically going to pair with any Bluetooth devices that you have paired to other Samsung products and it's gonna link them by using your Samsung account. So I never actually linked my Galaxy Buds Pro to the Samsung Galaxy Book Pro 360. It just automatically picked them up. So I have my Buds Pro here and if I pull them out of their case, put them in, 
like so. You can see it's popped up right there. I can connect and there we go. We can take this a step further by using the Galaxy Tab S7 Pro. Let me show you. So I have the Galaxy Tab S7 Pro here. This also works with the Galaxy Tab S7. Basically, you can use the Tab S7 or the Tab S7 Pro as an external display with the Galaxy Book Pro 360. So if I go into the quick toggles up here, swipe over and go to second screen, make sure that's turned on. Now I'm going to just prop this up right here and then hit Windows and then K. You can see Galaxy Tab S7 Plus up here. I'm going to connect to it. And boom. Now I have an external display right here that works really, really good. So if I drag this window over here, I could do that. I can use this setup in Adobe Premiere. I can use it in DaVinci Resolve. I can use it in Photoshop. And to go one step further, you can use the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus as like a Wacom tablet or a drawing tablet in apps like Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop. So there's just a lot of possibilities with this setup and I love it. Outside of being able to use the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus as an external display, the Samsung Bluetooth Sync and easy Bluetooth connection features, you can also wirelessly send files from your Galaxy device to the Galaxy Book Pro 360. So I have a photo here on my Galaxy Z Fold 2 and I'm going to share it via Quick Share. Now I'm going to go into my settings here to make sure Quick Share is turned on, which it is. It's right here in the bottom corner. Now I'm going to select the computer, which is the Galaxy Book Pro 360. It's locating it on my phone. It's connecting. And it should send it, which it just did. I can open it up and there's the photo. And you, to go back, you can see it's the exact same photo that I shared. So you can wirelessly send photos and videos from your Galaxy device to this computer seamlessly. It works like a boss. One of Intel's standards when it comes to the Evo platform is that you have to have a 720p camera on your laptop. And the Galaxy Book Pro 360 does have that. I wish it was a 1080p camera though. And I wish Intel would maybe increase their standards to 1080p because I feel like the 720p camera on the Galaxy Book Pro 360 needs a little work. However, that's where studio mode comes in and it's a really cool and fun setting. So to access studio mode, we're gonna go into our Windows menu, pull up the Samsung settings, go under advanced features, and then enable studio mode. Now, when we launch the camera, it's gonna give us additional settings down here on the bottom in order to apply different filters and settings. So we have a beauty filter, we have off, natural, clean, beautiful, and then we can create our own. So if we go into custom, we can do lovely which i mean look what it did to my eyes look at that i'm gonna go ahead and hit record so you guys can see this is lovely even though the camera may not be the greatest on the galaxy book pro 360 studio mode is fun and a lot of people can take advantage of it especially for the younger generation that really wants to take advantage of a lot of these filters and you can use this mode in other camera apps such as Skype and other video calling platforms. Not to mention the microphones on the Galaxy Book Pro 360 are really good and that's something that really surprised me. Another really cool feature about the Galaxy Book Pro 360 is focus mode. This is something that I haven't seen on other Windows PCs. I'm not saying it's not available, I just personally haven't seen it. If you've seen anything like this, let me know what computer you saw it on down in the comment section. So to access focus mode, we're gonna go into our Windows menu. We're gonna go under Samsung settings. Under display mode, we're gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom and you're gonna see focus mode. Just toggle that on. And what it's going to do is dim everything around the window that you currently have pulled up. So right now I have Samsung settings pulled up and you can see the wallpaper pretty much dimmed. If I pull up Google Chrome, you can see everything around Google Chrome is still dim. If I minimize Google Chrome and then go back to my wallpaper, you can see the wallpaper is now bright. Pull up Google Chrome and everything goes dim again. 
This is not only great for battery life, but also to make sure that you're paying attention and focused on the task at hand. All right, so I know I said this video was going to be 10 tips and tricks, but I have a little bonus round for you. The first is the function key lock setting. I know that everybody that uses a Windows PC probably knows about this, but if you don't, here you go. If you hold down the function button and then tap F12, you can lock or unlock the function lock. And if you lock the function lock, it will give you access to your media keys without having to hit the function button every single time. And the benefit to this is not only to adjust your brightness or your volume, but also access the Samsung settings by hitting F1 on the fly. The next little bonus tip I have for you is animated or live wallpapers. So if we just do a quick search for live wallpapers, you can see there is a Samsung app titled Live Wallpaper. If we launch it, it's gonna pull up a whole bunch of wallpapers here that are automatically included on your computer. You can download them. We have animated ones and we have non-animated ones. And the last bonus tip or trick I have for you is the built-in Samsung screen recorder. This is something that I usually use a third-party app for, so it's nice to see such a good screen recorder pre-installed on a laptop. So if I go into this little bar here and do a search for screen recorder, you can see the Samsung app will automatically pull up. If I launch it, it gives me a ton of different settings. I can pick an area or do a screenshot. I can launch the webcam while recording the screen. And if I tap on the cogwheel and pull up the settings here, I have settings for the display, for audio, for the mouse. I can choose where I'm going to save the screen recording. I have hotkeys. There's a lot that I can do here. Things that you would normally have to pay for. And I definitely appreciate that. So make sure to take advantage of the built-in Samsung screen recorder for all of your screen recording needs. So that was 10 plus tips and tricks for the Galaxy Book Pro 360. If you picked up this computer, let me know what are some of your favorite features about it. I really have been enjoying my time with it. I think it's a fantastic laptop. The Intel Evo chip is definitely quite powerful and it's taken me back by surprise because I can just do so much with this thin and light ultra book. Again, let me know down below your thoughts on the Galaxy Book Pro 360. Make sure to stay tuned for more content. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Shout out to Intel once again for sponsoring this video. And um, I'll see you beautiful people in the next one.